General Science Standard 6 Chapter 8 Our Skeletal System and the Skin Can you recall which organ systems do you see in the figure alongside In the previous classes we have learnt about some organ systems their functions and their locations in our body the various organs are safe within the body cavity the human skeleton is a protective shell for all the internal organs sometimes when we fall while playing or have an accident a bone in our arm or leg may get broken this is called a fracture of the bone a fracture in a bone causes severe and unbearable pain and the part with the broken bone swells immediately can you tell your friend meets with an accident and a bone in his leg is fractured how will you help after an accident prevent any movement of the fractured part immobilize it and get immediate medical help after going to the hospital an x-ray image is taken of the part which is swollen x-rays were discovered by wilhelm conrad roentgen an x-ray image shows whether a bone is broken and also the exact spot where it is broken this helps in providing the proper treatment types of bones bones of our body are classified into four types flat bones example shoulder small bones example fingers and toes irregular bones example vertebra or hip bone long bones example thigh the human skeletal system all the bones in our body are not of the same shape every bone is different all the bones together form a framework or skeleton the skeleton gives a shape to the body all the bones of the body along with cartilage together form the skeletal system bones are hard they are not flexible bones are composed of two main constituents bone cells are biotic while calcium carbonate calcium phosphate minerals and salts are the abiotic constituents of bones calcium imparts strength to the bones the system which gives a definite shape to the body provides support and protects the delicate organs inside the body is the skeletal system can you identify the animals from the pictures of their skeletons the human skeletal system can be divided into two parts the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton the axial skeleton consists of the skull 
द स्पाइन एंड द रिब केज दीज आर सिचुएटेड सिमेट्रिकली अलोंग द सेंट्रल वर्टिकल एक्सिस ऑफ द बॉडी द अपेंडिकुलर स्केलेटन इज मेड अप ऑफ द बोन्स ऑफ द अपर एंड लोअर लिम्स दैट इज आर्म्स एंड लेग्स ऑन ईदर साइड ऑफ द सेंट्रल एक्सिस As our body grows, the size and the length of our bones increases. Such changes in size and length can be seen in children according to age. However, the body continues to grow only up to a certain limit. The bones of taller people are longer. The axial skeleton skull the skull is formed by the bones of the head and face the bones of the skull are flat and strong there are all together 22 bones in the skull 8 in the head and 14 in the face except for the lower jaw none of the bones of the skull can move which organs of our body does the skull protect rib cage feel the left and right sides of your chest with your hand or finger how many bones can you feel all together on the two sides check in the center how many bones do you feel The cage like structure in the chest is called the rib cage. In the chest there is one vertical flat bone called the sternum. 12 pairs of flat bones called ribs are joined to it sideways. These 25 bones form the rib cage. it is joined to the spine at the back the spine that is backbone or vertebral column the spine is formed by padlock shaped bones placed straight one above the other there are all together 33 bones in the spine each called a vertebra these bones are arranged one above the other flexibly the spine protects the spinal cord that originates from the the appendicular skeleton the human body has two arms and two legs the different parts of the arms and legs have several bones which are connected together by joints do you know there are three bones in each of the ears of these the stirrup is the smallest bone in our body it is as small as a grain of rice and is hollow its shape is like that of a stirrup in the human body the longest and strongest bone is the thigh bone or the femur the bones in our body are connected to each other by means of ligaments joints joints are the places where two or more than two bones are connected to each other joints are of two types movable joint immovable joint types of joints let us study some types of movable joints hinge joint this type of joint allows the movements of bones only in one direction it moves in a 180 degree angle 
examples the elbow and knee joints ball and socket joint in this type of joint the bones can move in two or more directions in a 360 degree angle examples shoulder and hip joints gliding joint in this type of joint the bones can only slide over each other examples wrist and the skin the skin is an important and large organ of all living things the skin has hair there are nails on the skin at the tips of the fingers and toes the skin gives us the sense of touch the skin is an important sensory organ of the body the outermost covering of the body is called skin the structure of the skin human skin is made up of two main layers the outermost layer is called the epidermis and the layer below it is called the dermis below the dermis there is a network of blood vessels and nerve fibers the subcutaneous layer under this network maintains normal body temperature the epidermis has various layers functions of the skin one protecting the internal parts of the body like muscles bones organ systems etc two help preserve the help preserve the moisture in the body three synthesizing vitamin d four releasing sweat to regulate body temperature five giving protection from the heat and cold 6 the skin functions as the sensory organ of touch when we walk or play in the sun we get tired but at the same time our skin becomes wet this is because of sweat in the skin there are glands which secrete sweat they are called sweat glands after playing in the hot sun or after hard physical labor the temperature of the body rises then sweat is released it helps to reduce the temperature of the body our body temperature usually remains constant at approximately 37 degrees celsius melanin a pigment called melanin is present in the cells of the epidermis the melanin is synthesized in certain glands in the skin the percentage of melanin decides the fairness or darkness of the skin the color of the skin also depends on the climate Melanin protects our skin and the inner parts from ultraviolet sun rays. As we grow older, the proportion of fat beneath the skin reduces. However, the previously taut skin does not shrink. This causes wrinkles on the skin of older people. Do you know It is melanin that determines the color of our hair too. Jet black hair is due to pure melanin, while brown, lighter hair is due to sulfur in the melanin and reddish hair due to iron in the melanin. Always remember, for the health of our skin, it is important to keep it clean. discriminate discriminating between people based on their skin color is unscientific and wrong
avoid the temptation of using artificial means to become fair.